The following design is rated FIA F1 for the use of banned racing technologies. Viewer discretion is advised. extremely impressive machine that allows drivers to, to push it to the limits. The driver is going to have to be a top level athlete. They're going to be traveling at speeds that uh, we haven't seen before. Uh, the purpose of Formula X was to really reprioritize performance and, and design innovation over every, everything else. A lot of racing series nowadays focus a lot on efficiency and I think fans have kind of outcried to that. And, addressed why that's uh, sort of diluting the competition, diluting the sport. I definitely think that it's a fine line. Um, if you don't have regulations, then you tend to see um, maybe, maybe safety will go down. Um, if you over-regulate, then the racing starts to get dull, and it almost seems like you're inhibiting the technology and the advancement of motorsport. The faster you go, the more consideration you have to play aerodynamics. And when everyone else is designing a very aerodynamically efficient car, it then pushes the bounds of what you have to do to keep up. So it's kind of a, a never-ending cycle of people trying to go faster and faster. That downforce allows you to have high cornering speeds, but it also produces drag in the straights. Uh, active aerodynamics means that our wing elements will move around in order to eliminate drag in the straights, and also produce high amounts of downforce in the corner. Um, another negative aspect of aerodynamics is the wake caused by high downforce setups and that is where ground effects come into play. Ground effects produces very little drag but also the highest amount of downforce. What we did when we designed the power unit for Formula, Formula X is uh, we went back to the, to the roots of, uh, of V8 technology and we have implemented a 2.3 liter uh, V8 engine. This produces around 1500 horsepower and 550 foot-pounds of torque which is a huge amount for such a lightweight car. To counteract the low horsepower and low torque at um, lower RPMs, we've integrated four um, electric hub motors, which allow us to fill in that torque gap. The power that is gained from the hub motors is primarily gained from recovering lost braking energy. When you hit the brake pedal, these motors turn into generators to recover the lost energy. And upon corner exit, the energy goes back the other way, and you have faster times off the line. Due to the aero and the high horsepower uh, hybrid power plant, um, we would expect to see G's far above what is typically seen within a car and a race car. And that allows drivers to, to push it to the limits, in their own limits, and we see just beautiful racing. It is the highest level performing race car that we could possibly create. 